the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 57, Numbers 33 to 36. The story of a land in a kingdom of priests. Looking back over the 40 year desert life, the Israelites were given in advance the boundary for the land of Canaan that they were to enter and conquer. First point, the land in the kingdom of priests was decided by God's laws. In Numbers chapter 33, we come across names of approximately 40 places. During the past 40 years, the Israelites resided in 40 different places. The Israelites left Lameses and camped at Sukkoth. They left Sukkoth and camped at Edom, on the edge of the desert. They left Edom, turned back to Pai Hairoth, to the east of Baal Zephon, and camped near Mikdol. These places were all meaningful locations, walking toward their permanent homes. God made them reflect back on the 40 years and prepare for the responsibility they needed in order to live in Canaan. As the east of the Jordan River had been conquered, now the last had to be conquered by Joshua and the high priest Eliezer. 500 years ago, God had shown the land of Canaan to Abraham. From then on, this land became the land of faith. 500 years later, the Israel nation was ready to enter this land. Second point, the Levites were dispersed around the 48 castle towns in order to educate the people about a kingdom of priests. The Levites were appointed as a leader of the Israelites and so instead of living together, they had to be dispersed between the people. So God allocated them places to live between the 48 castle towns. In all, you must give the Levites 48 towns, together with their pasture lands. The towns you give the Levites from the land the Israelites possess are to be given in proportion to the inheritance of each tribe. Take many towns from a tribe that has many, but few from one that has few. God distributed the Levites evenly across the twelve tribes of Israel. As the eldest son is responsible for looking after younger siblings, the Levites became responsible for looking out for the last of the twelve tribes of Israel. Third point, the people in a city of refugee only waited for the news of the death of the high priest. Within the 48 castle towns, God gave six cities of refugee between them. The city of refugee marked sanctuary for the people. It was a place where people did not have to fear for their lives after committing accidental manslaughter. So then, when could the people leave the city of refugee? They were able to leave once they heard that the current high priest had died. The city of refugee and the high priest should therefore be understood together. First point, one tribe was not allowed to move from one land to another. God tells the Israelites not to move from one place to another once settling down. Do not move your neighbor's boundary stone set up by your predecessors. In the inheritance you receive in the land the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Concerning this, God gave them three rules. The first was to keep the law of casting lot 
and also to be able to retrieve your land after Jubilee. The second concerned whether or not the household had a son. To the daughter who inherited the land, she was forbidden to marry with someone from a different tribe. She had to marry someone from her tribe in order to maintain her inheritance. The third was if there was no son or daughter to inherit the land, the land was to be given to the nearest relative. As such, God told the Israelites to stay within their allocated land in order to maintain the system of a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, maintaining your territory or expanding it shows the difference between a kingdom of priests and an empire. The reason David did not expand his territory, although he had enough soldiers, was because he was dedicated to keeping God's territories according to Numbers chapter 34. In this 8th century, God made North Israel fall in the hands of the Assyrian Empire because they failed to keep the laws of a kingdom of priests. The king of Assyria was so keen to expand his territories that invading Jerusalem was just another day for him. Later on, God made South Judah fall in the hands of the Babylonian Empire, and their fall was for the exact same reason as North Israel. As such, in whatever context, all territories belong to God, and He decides how land is to be used. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this house. 